Hello once again, everybody, and welcome back to Daily Devotions. Our Daily Devotion for today, Wednesday, April the 13th, comes to us from the Apostle Paul's first letter to the church in Corinth. So we're looking at 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 23 to 26. For I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it, and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, The cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. As a foretaste of the Maundy Thursday to come, 1 Corinthians eleven twenty three to 26 activates the taste buds with Paul's recitation of Jesus' institution of the Lord's Supper. Bread is broken and ground into mushy goodness by the teeth. Wine is, is poured and washes lusciously over the lips. Taste and savor that the Lord is good. For even in the shadow of betrayal, on the precipice of unfathomable anguish, God's goodness nourishes the body, your body, our bodies, the, the body of Christ. We cannot endure the stark reality of Holy Week without the sustenance of this holy meal. For it is true, as often as we bite into this bread, body, and quaff the wine blood, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. This death promises to remember us to the eternal life of God. The invitation is given. Eat, drink, for here in bread and wine we taste the extraordinary promise, and we do it all in remembrance of Christ Jesus. Let us pray. You remember us, dearest Jesus, as you set forth the feast of the universe. Help, help us hear your extravagant invitation to gobble up your promise and gulp down your presence. For these gifts are our food and drink for the hard journey ahead. Amen. Grace and peace be with you this day and every day, and I look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Be well.